Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a video of upgrading my HP gaming laptop from Best Buy for $450 last Black Friday. I bought it at a really cheap price for a gaming laptop, but I was a bit disappointed that there were less memory and storage. So I'm going to upgrade the memory to 16GB and 500GB of SSD this time. Let's start with the unboxing. Okay, so we're going to upgrade it from now on. First of all, today's SSD is an M.2 NVMe SSD and I chose the crucial product because it was slightly faster to read and write than other companies. I chose ATEX DDR4 3200MHz 8GB memory because one slot of 8GB 1 DIMM RAM was installed in this laptop. I bought it for $32 on Amazon. To upgrade, you need to open the bottom cover of the laptop first. Loosen the four screws shown above first and then loosen the three screws shown below. When you loosen the screw, use a plastic opener to open it carefully from the bottom. If the bottom part is all open, carefully put the cover up and open it. Now the bottom part of the laptop is open. As you can see, this laptop is gaming, so the graphics chipset is built into the motherboard, so it has two fans and two heat sinks to cool off. In the upper right corner, there's room for a unique 2.5-inch hard drive or SSD, and now it's installed as a dummy plastic. What you see here is M.2 SSD and memory. It's protected by black vinyl. I'll open the plastic. I see two SIDIM RAM slots. You can see the M.2 SSD slot right next to it. Let's take a look at what's installed. Two hundred fifty-six gigabyte M.2 SSD from Kioxia was installed. I've never heard of this company. Then let's see what kind of memory is installed. Yes, Samsung's 8GB DDR4 memory was installed. Thank you. 
So let's install 8GB of RAM and 500GB of M.2 SSD here. When the memory and SSD installation is complete, press and close the cover to make it hot and hand sound. And tighten the screws again. Okay, so the upgrade is done. This video will not cover how to migrate an existing SSD to a new SSD. If you copy it using the mini partition tool, you won't need to install a Windows 10. But I installed it newly using USB flash drive. That's all for today's video. If it was helpful, please subscribe and like it. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.